Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, or whatever time zone it is with you in the world. It is your law and savior with a bit of spontaneous Vampire the Masquerade content. Hence why the video quality is a bit awkward because I'm doing this late in the evening. And we're going to ignore that mess that's happening over there because I was in the middle of a bit of cleaning and organizing some bookshelf spaces. And I needed to throw things out of the way. So just uh, take a bit of copium to deal with that. Now, what exactly have I summoned you all here for in the cult of our law and saviour? Well, for the last few years, World of Darkness has been doing like the month of darkness, where each day of October has a prompt, and artists, content creators, or whatever have you, follow a particular prompt to create something within their field, providing it meets that prompt. You don't have to, of course, like they're not going to be like kicking your door in and getting you to do this. It's just a nice little thing that the community does to like bond it together. Historically, I have done haikus and short stories. I haven't done that this year. I've done something else entirely, but you can go and check out my social media pages and the YouTube community posts to find out exactly what I've been doing. Now, for the last couple of years, this year and the year before that, World of Darkness have been also each day providing new news, uh, freebies, you know, bits and other tidbits with that as well, which actually makes it far more interesting than previous years. And some of those days have been corresponding with Bloodlines 2 Death Diary updates, which have been consistently inconsistent in terms of information. Anywho, we're not here for Bloodlines 2 related stuff. As I said, it's just regular Vampire the Masquerade, 5th edition of course. And in order to find out what I'm referring to here, we have to whiz over to the Law by Night Discord server. Uh, this is obviously coming from the World of Darkness server, but I have set it up where World of Darkness news comes straight on to the Law by Night server. You can do this if you own a community server. And what we have here is that, welcome to tw day 26 of the Month of Darkness. Today, we're excited to share with you something we've worked on for a while, making jumping quickly into roleplay easier than ever. Vampire the Masquerade character sheet quiz. Which I presently feel um, mixed about, because on the one hand, this, on the surface, sounds like a really cool thing to, you know, get people into playing games quickly. They can answer a little quiz, and they get the information you want. In a way, it's kind of akin to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. You do the little quiz, the clan survey thing, and you're presented with a clan. I don't remember if the choices you choose in there alter the stats of the character sheet. Somebody can let me know in the comments below. I've only done the character sheet in Bloodlines once, and that's when I first played it. But at the same time, when it comes to a TTRPG... I kind of feel that this is a bit on the lazy side, rather than having somebody sit down with a player like, okay, this is the game, this is how it works, we're going to do the character creation together, or somebody just being really patient as they get 100 DMs uh, from said player. Uh, I feel that just it, it's, a, it's a bit on the lazy side, and if you have to take shortcuts to create a character, there's a problem with your system, but this could also be me having a negative bias with general, like, character quizzes and personality quizzes as a whole this could be like an age thing but then again i'm not even 30 so this is supposed to be hitting my generation so you know so rather than just being incredibly dismissive of this idea as i have been to some of my friends and acquaintances and my partner already i thought i should actually fucking try it and whilst we're at it showcased to the grander uh, world of darkness community and my subscribers what it's actually like. So you click on the link and it takes you over to a YouTube page. Um, Vampire the Masquerade, character sheet generator, answer a few questions and enjoy your new ready to use character sheet. And supposedly it takes about 15 minutes, sorry, 15 seconds. And um, I'm sorry if my face is going to be getting in the way of whatever pops up on screen, um, but I'll be reading everything out all the same. So again, take some of your copium. Do you know which clan you want to pick? Clans in Vampire the Masquerade are more common in some factions than others. Camarilla, where tradition-bound feudal hierarchy serves to preserve the Masquerade, or Anarchs, volatile rebels against the laws of the former. Some clans are rare in any faction, being mistrusted by all. Um, I'm going to create a Nosferatu and just stay completely on brand with this, because why the fuck not? So let's see what happens. I know exactly what clan I want to pick. I want to pick one of the clans associated with the Camarilla. Pillars of the Camarilla. I want to pick one of the clans usually associated with the Anarchs. I want to pick one of the mistrusted clans, the Orphaned. I'm presuming by the mistrusted, it's meaning um, like the likes of the La Sombra, the Ministry, uh, the Salubri, the Ravnos, and Zemitsi. I think it's referring to those, but I'm going in this completely aversion, so I might come back to that one. 
Um, actually, no. What happens if I click that? Is that going to take me to one of the options? Okay, so it takes me to Ravno, Salubri, Cative, and uh, Duskborn. Is there a way to go back? Yes, okay, cool. So that's what it means, which I think it's interesting that La Sombra and Zamitsi aren't with one of those. And it's also interesting that Anox and Unbound is... I think we've seen that before with Bloodlines 2, that those who aren't associated with the Anox or the Camarilla are seem to be referring to as Unbound. I'm just going to actually have a look at that and see what that suggests. Uh, Hakata, La Sombra, Ministry, Zamitsi. Interesting, because they are part of the Camarilla. So I think, is Unbound their like, in-game word now for Autarkus, or... I don't know. I don't know what that is. Anyway, we're going to go back and we're going to create our Nosferatu. I just want to have a look to see what those exactly mean. So when you do this, for your V5 characters, uh, you know exactly what to pick. Or, of course, you can use this as any edition of Vampire and just, you know, tweak things here and there. Uh, I know what clan I want to pick. You will now be able to pick off from a list of clans. If you'd rather limit your choice, go back to the previous questions. You're going to also check our breakdown of the clans and wiki for more information. Or take the clan quiz to make your choice. Oh, right. So we've got a whole list of the V5 clans and bloodlines, of course. And Nosferatu, the Disfigured Spies. You picked Nosferatu. Which of the following feeding methods would fit your character the most? Their bodies twisted and deformed through the embrace. Nosferatu lurk on the fringes of most cities, acting as spies and brokers of information. Um, we're going to go for quick and brutal, you know, hard and fast and all that. Which... What made your character this brutal? Others, your upbringing, or your embrace? Um, let's let's go with your embrace. Uh, it's defigured you both on the outside and on the inside. Why not? How was your character's embrace conditioned to them? You used to be beautiful and popular. You had everything. Jaded is a weak word to describe what this disfigurement has done to you. You quickly learned that the other kindred are not to be trusted and you became a loner. Or you quickly learn that kindred pay well and have good to have some big heads owing you favours. I'm going to go with the first one because that's the one that I thought was the most best written and the most engaging to me. And it's not taking me to the next page. Okay, cool. Let's submit that. Your Nosferatu sheet is ready. If you want to change anything in your sheet, head to our wiki for more information. Wow, that was really fucking quick. So I'm going to download the sheet. And it's opened up the PDF. Oh, no, this is still on Google. Okay, cool. It's still on a Google form or whatever. Okay, so we've got the Vengeful Cleopatra. Predator-type uh, alley cat. Cat Nosferatu Generation 12. Interesting stuff. I would have thought it would default to 13. Obfuscate. Cloak of Shadows. Unseen Passage. Lethal Body and Prowess. Has it given me... Me it has. Okay, it's given me... Sorry, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place. Uh, let's go back to the top page. It's it's filled out our stats correctly, which is a very important thing. I'm going to get rid of that because that's annoying me. Um, yeah, so I'm just going through this, and it seems to have done things with the um, jack-of-all-trades spread. It's got the specialties, desire, stick-ups, and dancing. Interesting. I mean, we've got the clear patch of this, so clearly this that's what we were in our mortal life in form of dancer one way or another obvious game potence lethal body and prowess and i'm beginning to think how this would make sense you know obviously we've got a very strong mystique uh, physique here perhaps a bit more on the lethal side of it and we've got some prowess which also matches the dancing but the performance is not that high so clearly it wasn't that all that good a sort of backstage sort of thing a bit of a precious diva about it Obvious skate, of course, Cloak of Shadows, an unseen passage, you know, wanting to hide and get away from those who may mock us with being a Nosferatu. Our humanity is at six, no hunger presently, but you would fill that in at the beginning of your session with the appropriate mount. Our clan bane is written in here, as it should. Touchstones and convictions. Those who harmed me must be punished. Alana, victim of abuse. And fashion requires sacrifices. Samir, popular fashion eater. That's cool. I quite like that. No, that. That's me being completely genuine. I think that's a pretty neat idea there. And I don't know how, you know, the nuts and bolts of this would work well. But 
yeah, this this looks pretty neat. Contact criminal influence fashion scene resources tempered will. I'm not sure where tempered will is. I think that's on the player's guide. I could be because that doesn't. I don't. I don't remember that coming from the core book. So I think that must be from the player's guide. Which, if you don't have the player's guide, that might be a bit annoying. But a storyteller might well have that. And I believe these are all mentioned on the Paradox Wiki anyway. It's been a while since I've looked there, so I could be mistaken. But yeah, all the fiends are laid out. I'm glad that's all filled out because when I've done uh, V5 character sheets before, I've always found that bit really annoying to do. Not complicated, I know what to do. It's just where the blood potency is mentioned within the V5 core book, it's just a bit whack. <laughs> it's it's awkward to find. But yeah, that's really it. And I'm you saw on the fiend, you can download it and you can edit it, so if you don't like some of the things that it's done... Like, for example, I might want to bump up the performance a bit more because in my mind with this idea, we're leaning more towards that performance bit. So I might actually want to put intimidation into free and like swap intimidation to performance round as a possible example. And obviously you can use this in your own games and do loads of other things. Now obviously there isn't one for V20, so I know that's going to annoy some people all the same. But I think that's actually a really cool thing now having tried it. Uh, for V5 players, like doing a little quiz, which really did not take that long at all. I do think it would be better taking like the more generic quiz, like to see what clan you would fit in, and then working together with your games master to uh, flesh that out a bit more, personally. And of course, you can fine-tune and tweak these templates and pregens. Actually, now that I'm saying that, this would actually be a really great way of generating pregens if you're running something of a conventional one-shot. It's like, hey guys, I've got this new game, let's play this, and you just hand them these sheets. I don't, again, I don't know how frequently um, it randomizes things, or how it does that, or how familiar the character concepts would be. This is only like one and only character. So... Yeah, I can definitely see that there's some merit in this, and it would be useful for some people to use. It's not something that I would use uh, for newer players. Like I would like sit them through and like do old school, as it were, and I'd you know help them out that way around. But I can see that being quite the useful tool. What do you think about all this? Is this something that you'll find yourself using your games of Vampire: The Masquerade, regardless of edition? If so, let me know in the comments below. If not, let me know in the comments below. Have you tried it yet? I mean, this is fairly new, so I don't think there'll be a lot of people doing this, but I would love to hear uh, your feedback about what you make of all of this. And whilst you're scrolling down there with a mouse wheel or thumb or trackpad, uh, you can find a handful of Vampire the Masquerade books to include in your TTRPG games. And if you purchase them with those links, I get some of the money back, because I'm an affiliate on drive for rpg in the Storyteller's Vault, and some of that coinage will be going to providing purchasing more lore to provide awesome lore for you, and also very questionable lore to you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this. It's been a day. Uh, yeah, so check out those books and my various amount of homebrew as well, uh, which you can use in your games, both in the traditional sense of a group or as a solo player, which is pretty exciting. And um, yeah, just let me know all your thoughts about this character creation tool, and I'll see you on the next upload, whatever that may well be for you. And until next time, farewell.